All right, so you know, I'm actually gonna do a room tour, studio tour, or, or whatever you call it, like the workplace tour, and give you guys like behind the scenes of like my setup here, what I use, and what my like like man cave, I guess. I don't know my editing station. I don't know, what do you guys call this? Your 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 creative studio. What this looks like. Uh, because I mean, down here, like 90% of the time, editing my jobs, uh, editing work for other people, uh, editing my own YouTube videos. I mean, gaming, this everything I do is basically down here. And uh, I have like different sections down here that I actually want to show you guys and share with you. But I'm actually not going to do it in this video. I'll probably do it in a different video. So make sure that you subscribe so you guys don't miss that. But today, I want to talk about a device that I use for editing nearly every single time. And I've been using this thing constantly for a while. And it's control my control server by Tangent. This device works wonders if you have like heavy workloads and you need to get things done quickly. Now the learning curve on this can take a while because there's a lot of button placements on here. And uh, knowing that you have to learn it and learn where buttons are, but once you do, your workflow can speed up dramatically. This device works for DaVinci Resolve, it works for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro 10. I've used this on every single one of those programs. Now, each program has a strength with this device. The color correcting is works amazing on DaVinci Resolve, and that's the, th that's the middle panel with three balls on it. Absolutely amazing. So when color grading comes in, color grading with this and DaVinci Resolve makes it simple. Premiere Pro utilizes a part of maybe about 60, to 70% of the entire control surface. It makes things simple and easy, but the coloring doesn't work so well in Premiere Pro that I've noticed and that I've, in my experience with it. But the one editing software that works phenomenal with is Final Cut Pro 10. This thing can work from each step of your workflow, from importing uh, to naming your, in your library to setting to timeline uh, to also color grading to the audio corrections to exporting to, I mean, every single step in your workflow, this thing masters within Final Cut and it utilizes each of the buttons. So that way you can, if you want to break apart clips, if you want to blade cut, if you want to change your event viewer, add an event viewer, show your scopes, Everything is in here. I, I love the little dial knob specifically to zoom in and zoom out. Again, this is a very high price tag for something like this, but once you utilize it, if you can utilize it within your program, like Final Cut Pro 10 or DaVinci Resolve, which are those are the two best programs that I like to use with it, it for me is worth it. It slices things down tremendously. I mean, a click of a button, I can use this thing really fast and the motion with it is just, I feel like I, ha I feel like I'm on my mojo when I'm on this thing. It adds a lot of fun to your workflow. If you're a professional video editor, I would recommend something like this, especially if you like to color grade specifically at a certain point, but the price tag is extremely high on this. That's why I cannot recommend this to anybody. Like when I purchased it, three thousand dollars and it's just the price tag is very high it's very professional modular though uh it's very modular uh you can you can buy them as you know by the by themselves but they just have newer ones out now uh that i feel that may be a little better but especially for the price itself black magic has one for i believe a thousand dollars that i've been wanting to try but i don't bite the bullet because I got this baby and it works absolutely just fine. It was something that I've been wanting to show you guys for a while. It's always been on my desk. I had a few questions from a few people asking me what it is or uh, can you talk about it in the video? That's what it, all I'm doing now is kind of give you like a reference overview of what it is and how I use it. So anyways, that's it guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And besides that, my friends, I will catch you guys in the next video.